it's a long night. That's what I think. How to sit at the front of the plane on a budget airline. Check in 16 hours early. So, we got to Santiago yesterday morning on the bus. Walked from the bus station with 3.2 k's or something with our big bags and our front bags. And we found Starbucks because the Wi-Fi is always good at Starbucks. We had to try and find our way to the airport and we thought get, getting a bus would be the cheapest way. We got a cab, we got to the airport, it was like 6 o'clock. We had a cup of soup for dinner with bread dipped in it because we wanted to eat the food. I still carrying this huge bag of food around. Sucks, but it's nearly gone. And dry crackers. And dry crackers. And then we unrolled our sleeping mats, our sleeping bags, and people walked above us up and down the stairs all night from like nine o'clock till this morning. The airport does not stop. How long do you work? Oh, 24 7. 24 7. We woke up this morning, we wet wiped our bodies. 4 a.m. It's almost so. Dylan's birthday. And it's my birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday. 25 tomorrow, so pretty stoked on that. You. We're in San Pedro de Atacama. Um, we're just going for a walk around town now to suss everything out. Get some, got Shannon a little scarf so she doesn't get uh, um, gas in her mouth from the volcano. Sulfur. Sulfur. So today we're just spending the day getting acclimated because we only came from like 1,500 feet. And now we're at like 2,500. We'll be hiking up um, to like 5,500, so. We just need to take a few days, do some things that are on, at a lower altitude um, to become adjusted a little bit more. So we're just cruising around today. We're gonna do some cool things tomorrow. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Get to wear shorts, what? It's been a hot minute since we've been in shorts. Minus five degrees tomorrow morning at the geysers. But then it's like 30 degrees by 9 a.m. So it's legit. Get a mango, check these things out. Hey guys, so we're checking out some hot springs and geysers today, this morning. It's bloody freezing, but it's super cool. Fun fact we're at 4,300 meters above sea level. The water only has to get to 86 degrees um, before it boils, not 100 because of the altitude. Just a view in front of the mountains, stunning. You're missing out, it's so good. 32 years of being What do you got? What's to help? Cocoa leaves. Cocoa leaves and some It's a, it's a drug. <laughs> and, um, it's supposed to help with altitude. Poke it out of your mouth. <laughs> You're supposed to sort of keep it in there. Keep it half under your lip. <laughs> My one's too saliva -y. Ah, in there. <coughs> it's good. Makes your mouth go numb. Noisiest bus ride ever. What? 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 This is the hidden lagoon. Nobody knows about it. Up. Let's go sour. Chips. Nice. On the way back, we're gonna watch the sun go down yeah. over there. All the just goes for Dylan's birthday. Dylan's 32nd birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Dylan! Happy birthday to you! 
my birthday, so we thought we'd come out to a nice restaurant and have dinner tonight and spoil ourselves a bit. It doesn't go in the budget. It doesn't go in the budget. The budget doesn't exist today. No budget today. And we're, we're here at Cafe Adobe Restaurant. Oh. And the best pisco I've ever. Pisco sour. That's it, pisco sour. What do you got? Salmon, corn papas, and orange stuff. That's fancy. I have pollo. Where? Here. Your lips are chapped. Are they? Yeah. My lips don't feel that shit. It's like around. It's like all here. What would Chanel do? Now. She'd probably bust out with some quote with this face and get real serious that I can tell you the whole quote. But I can't leave a quote. Shannon's favorite thing to do. So today we're on this road 40 minutes straight. Pumpy as at the destination. It was epic. Um, we swam in these real floaty salt, salt lagoons in the desert that are seven times more salt concentrate than the Pacific Ocean. So we were staying at Hostel Rural for two days and um, it was pretty cool, had a really cool vibe and um, there was lots of like metal art around everywhere and there were some really cool people there. Um, but after walking around town we sort of inquired about a private room and in this town it worked out to be a little bit cheaper. So we ditched the last hostel and now we're in this private room with our own bathroom for two days and it's actually cheaper than what we were paying for two beds in the other one. Which usually isn't the case, or like sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, so yeah. we're pretty stoked. Very That's stoked. Alone time. You know, alone time. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> this afternoon we're going on a Moon Valley tour where you go to this real cool rock formations and look out and watch the sunset and stuff so we can't wait for that. And, and then yeah tomorrow we're doing a volcano hike which will be cool. Um, starts real early like five o'clock in the morning and you get driven to sort of the base of the volcano and you have breakfast and then you hike your ass up to the top of the volcano and you hike your ass down. That's 5,600 meters yeah. which is getting high so we can't have red meat tonight we've got to have lemon water Plenty of rest because no alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. Um, so we have to go. We haven't really been to that altitude hiking before. Yeah. Luckily, we're We've been here for real a few fit. Days. It's like a mirror. Just hiked for one hour and we're pretty high now. Certainly short of breath um, and you get a little bit of a headache on the way up but you've got to take it really slow. It's just short steps. Um, as you can see the summit's up there. We're in the group of six and we're just going slow and steady but we seem to be overtaking a lot of people because we're going at a good pace um, and we're using all the different tracks up the mountain so it's going to be spectacular when they get there, I'm sure. Um, our guides are really good, very helpful, and letting us know when to stop and take a breath and keep the heart rate down and make your water warm in your mouth before you swallow it to keep your body temperature up and all sorts of stuff, so it's going really good. Uh, 50% less oxygen than sea level and pretty much the same height as Everest Base Camp we're at right now. Um, it's hard feel to it. breathe. This is a snowy bit. Um, yeah, that volcano is 500 metres around and we're just heading back down now. Um, got our poles. Ooh, ooh. Got altitude sickness, eh? Hey? Headache? Spewy? 
We are bad. I'll make you better, okay? This town's very, very touristy. Um, it's probably the most expensive part of the trip we've been on so far. Yeah. Everything's a tour, you've got to pay for the services, park entry fees, stuff like that. Yeah. Travelling isn't all um, sunshine and rainbows. It does have its downfall sometimes, like lots of people in certain places, but if you want to see these beautiful places, you've got to go there anyway, otherwise yeah. you're not going to get to see them. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a bit, bit sad really when you're there sometimes, but you just try and capture the moments when there's no people and um, make the most of every minute. Yeah. Because it's definitely, like the things we've done have been really cool, like seeing the geysers and uh, we've met some cool people. We're, um, we've booked our salt flat tour and to, to, Bolivia. to Bolivia and we've met this um, Irish man, Alan. Yeah, he's really Thick cool. Irish accent. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. And um, Tell them Ireland too, yeah. <laughs> He, and he's coming on the self tour with us, so that'll be really cool. We just want to thank everyone for watching our videos too, all our friends and family and other people on the interwebs. Uh, it's pretty cool. We really appreciate it. This is just fun for us and um, we're going to be able to look back one day on our whole trip and be so stoked that we can see all the small moments that you forget when you go on holiday. So that's really what we're doing and um, come on our journey and please yeah. comment give us suggestions on places to go, if you have any recommendations. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're going to Bolivia next, so if you have any recommendations for Bolivia, like just comment down below and... <laughs> Knock me out. Oh, bro. Yeah, just comment down below and let us know what you like or what you didn't like or what we you know should look out for and everything. So we're pretty stoked. 